Today we're going to look at the best music and guitar memes on the internet. Viking horns. Me. So E flat and D sharp are the same? Musicians. Well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> oh man, this is the concept of enharmonic equivalence. It's confusing because one note or the same note can be stated two different ways. Let's say you have the note E. You can flat that down a half step and you get E flat. But if you start on the note D and you raise that or you sharp it up a half step, you arrive at D sharp, which is the same note as E flat. Learn more about this concept in my music theory course below. <laughs> Girl saying she likes Enter Sandman. Someone's sending her a Dying Fetus 50 song list. Now, I think it's safe to say we've all been here. It's important to be smart when you're deploying your metal evangelism, though. Use common gateway drugs like Metallica and Megadeth to whet people's appetite for the genre of metal. If you start them off with a Dying Fetus 50 song playlist, most likely they'll never want to listen to metal again. Oh no, that would be such a tragedy. About to take my guitar solo. Option one, minor pentatonic. Option two, minor pentatonic. Now this is one of my favorite Squid Game memes that came out last year. It illustrates a very important point. A lot of guitar players are a bit uneducated and they only have knowledge of one scale type. Minor pentatonic is typically the first scale every guitar player learns. But it's a bit one dimensional. You know, I see scales as different flavors of emotion. Lydian brings a tear to my eye, <laughs> but also has this uplifting epic quality. If you want to extol pure evil, try the Locrian mode, something Metallica and Megadeth uses quite a bit actually. One of my favorite things to do is to open my scale Bible, which you can get below in the description, cue up a drone, and then just play any scale that you like on the list and just listen to the emotional content. So much fun. It's important to believe in your dream. Everyone told Beethoven that he won't be a good pianist because he's deaf, but he never listened. <laughs> I can relate to this meme because growing up, I had a lot of people tell me that I'd never make it as a musician. Fast forward 66.6 .6 years, and I'm killing it. Just living the dream every day. Toot toot. Now, from what I understand, Beethoven started to go deaf in his early 30s, and by the time he wrote his Ninth Symphony, he was pretty much completely deaf. Beethoven also is accredited with the quote, to play a wrong note is insignificant, but to play without passion is inexcusable. So if you have a passion for music, I would encourage you to keep going and make it happen. Where's my WAP juice? Oh, 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 oh. Just nearly staved off a heart attack. The WAP juice is tough on the system. Metal makes people violent. Metalheads displaying very nonviolent behavior, courtesy of Squidward from SpongeBob, I believe, right? Now, this is interesting. I was doing jury service yesterday and I was wearing Metallica's Kill 'em All t-shirt, their first record. When I entered the juror room and was questioned by the defense and the prosecution attorneys, they instantly dismissed me. And I kind of wonder if it had something to do with the shirt. Metal music sounds aggressive, but it doesn't mean the people that listen to it are. In fact, I think it's one of the most healing and cathartic things to be able to get out all of that pent-up negative emotion and channel that in a productive way through music. Cat walks on piano. Any jazz pianist. That's actually a C13 sharp 5 flat 9 sus 4 minor 7 sharp 69 sus 2 flat 13. <laughs> uh, it is true that jazz people tend to take uh, theory very seriously. The way that I think about chords, though, is similar to scales. It's an emotion. How are you feeling right now? Do you know the right chords to express and articulate those emotions? If you do, then you have a complete command over the musical language. And the good thing about music is that it's a universal language. Regardless of what language people speak, you can communicate a direct message to them. By the way, all the chords in existence are in my chord Bible below. Here's one of my favorite meme creators, Todd Perel. 
Learning scales and music theory is the fruit, apples, healthy stuff. Me, playing random notes until it sounds cool. <laughs> Every time we go for the white powder. I used to totally be this way as well. It's very frustrating because after a period of time, you just keep repeating yourself. Your intuition is limited. What you really need is some external knowledge to kind of uh, cultivate your creativity and get those juices flowing. Just a little bit of direction. Otherwise, you're essentially reinventing the wheel of music theory every time you pick up the guitar. Why not take advantage of all the past knowledge that's been accumulated? And in fact, that's what I've done for you in my music theory course below. <laughs> when you practiced and you play worse than before. So the boys from Two Set Violin are hilarious. Shout out to them. It does feel this way, doesn't it? Like sometimes you'll be practicing for weeks, months, and you just feel like you're not getting anywhere. When that happens to me, I try to mix it up and do something different. Like learn a new song or a new style. Just change my perspective on things. Ultimately, you just got to hang in there and keep at it. The gains will come. <laughs> <sighs> Here's one of my favorite memes. Today, I'm going to show you some simple beginner guitar chords. The chords. They're crazy. You got to go like underneath the strings, through the fretboard, give yourself carpal tunnel. This is totally what it feels like when you first start playing. I remember picking up my father's acoustic guitar and the action was roughly 69 miles off the fretboard. I straight up gave up for two years. It was that bad. And then uh, when I was 14, I got an electric guitar, and electrics are much easier to play. But I'm going to be honest, uh, chords are the best part of music, period. You know, you have melody, you have rhythm, timbre, texture. I guess you could assess the elements in different ways. But harmony, chords, that's where most of the emotional uh, quality of music lies. I love this meme right here. It's by Rock Metal Fan Struggles. Me, anytime I hear guitars going, oh, 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 oh. The reason this meme is so great is because it's funny and true, but it points at a much deeper thing, which is tonality itself. It may seem simple, but chugging away on your open low string is what we call a pedal tone. It's simply a repeated pitch that signifies the foundation tonally of the music that you're playing. If you don't use pedal tones, what you end up with is a total music. Now, I'm going to give you some good advice. Instead of trying to reinvent science and physics, just settle in your mind right now that oh, oh, oh is the way it has to be. If you don't use references to the pitch in your music, no one's going to want to listen to it. This is brilliant. Drunk guitarist improvising his solo. Rest of the band. <laughs> They're just not having a musical conversation. They're taking two separate paths here. I think it's safe to say everyone has witnessed this before. As guitar players, we tend to think that we're God's gift to the world. We can't wait for our moment to start shredding and melt people's faces off. What you eventually realize over time is that no one gives a shit. Unless you're able to contribute to the song. That's why I look up to guys like Eddie Van Halen so much, is he was able to be very commercially successful, but also get in his shred. And this is why I always suggest to guitar players when they ask me how to get better at soloing, uh, the secret, shh, I mean, shh, is to outline chords. In other words, learn to have a conversation with the band or the music that's underneath. Full course on that below. Did you have a favorite meme in this video? Memes are so powerful because they condense units of cultural evolution. They use humor and comedy to make a deeper point. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the scientist, um, biologist actually, Richard Dawkins, is the one who coined the term meme back in the 1970s. And the way he defines memes is a unit of cultural evolution. Really, it's about communication. So if you want to get better at social media and grow on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, learn how to condense ideas the way that memes do and to use pictures and images to portray your point. Until next time, my friends, stay evil. <laughs>
<laughs> Why so sus lately, Shred?